Hello guys, um, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'll show you how to implement Winston Logger into your node code. Um, it is very useful because it helps us to keep a record of the logs uh, which API has been hit. So let's see how we can do that. So this is my node project right here and this is my customer controller file which consists of all the CRUD operations. And for Winston Logger, we need a package called as Winston. So let's install Winston first, npm install Winston and while it is installing, I will go to my controller folder and create one new file logger.js Yeah, so we will import that package here So we basically have to import three things create logger method, transports and format Winston uh, now let's create a function for logging customer logger which will be create logger and then transports which will be an array so new transports dot file or file name I'll name it as customer dot log level you have to give it is very important so it will be info and format format dot combine and inside it format dot timestamp format.json yeah now for error we have to create a new file new transports dot file file name customer error dot log Now the level will be error and format will be the same so I'll just copy this line and paste it here. Fine. Now let's export this function. Okay, save it go to your customer controller and import that function here so const logger equals to require and that file yes and this is my method for displaying customers so i'll go to this else part logger dot customer logger dot log you have to pass two things First will be the level and then the message. So successfully got the list of customers. Fine. And now in this error part, so there are two error parts. So I have already given logger.customer logger.log and the level will be error error finding customers I'll just copy this line and paste it in the if part also yes fine now save it uh, run your project you can see two files are created customer error and customer.log now go to postman 
hit your API. I think this is the URL. Yes. So you got the list of the customers. Now go back to your code. And in the customer.log, you can see this log is being recorded. Go back to your customer controller file and change the name of your database or table and save it. Go back to the postman. See error occurred. Go back to your code now and in customer error.log, you will see the error message. So in this way, you can apply Winston Logger into your code. I hope this is helpful and uh, you will like, share, subscribe and comment if you have any query. Thanks for watching.